the ducks got out, uh, they flew like around this whole property. Funny thing is, is we clipped their wings the other day, so clearly we did it wrong. We're talking about no dig garden beds here, people. I mean, it's, it's simply amazing. You don't need any lumber, you don't need to build anything, you don't need to fill three feet of planter space up with soil that costs a ton of money. We're talking about on the ground, in there, done. So, you wanna see how it's done? Let's do this. First, you wanna measure out your garden space. We did a three by 12 bed. Next, use a pitchfork to aerate that soil. sitting around since fall so you got to think about that too where are you storing it how are you storing it and the fact that you have to store it in order to use it for a time like this Just 
gently smooth it out with the smoothest part of your rake. Now we're just going to add our soil amendments. First up, garden tone. You're not gonna, you're not gonna just like throw this on there. You're just gonna sprinkle it ever so delicately. Then, green sand, blood meal, kelp meal, and last, bone meal. Now we're just gonna rake it in. Let me rake first, just to kind of spread it out. You know, a little bit deeper of a rake after that. Did you hear that? In case you didn't get that, you're just going to rake it in with the fork side just a couple inches into the soil. That way you can mix in all those amendments into that top soil that we have. And then we're going to go back and we're going to smooth it out just a little bit. Alright, last step is you just sprinkle a little water all over it. You don't want to wash away anything. I repeat, don't wash away anything. Just do a light little sprinkle, but make sure it's soaked. Yeah. All right, my friends, there you have it. Super easy, no dig beds. I mean, we got one, two, three, four. Four done, couple days. They're three by 12 beds. Three because you want to reach the middle from both sides. 12 to give us, I mean, we have so much space, so we might as well maximize it. In between each row, you can fit a wheelbarrow through, so we thought about that, something about that. I mean, this concept's beautiful. I love it. This, you're just layering up some carbon and nitrogen and filling the top part with some soil mixture and then top it off with amendments. It's super easy. We have about 50 potatoes that we need to get in the ground, 50 onions to get in there too. Then our next step is to prepare for nine berry bushes that we have sitting in our growing room and 45 trees. Don't even ask me why we ordered 45 trees, but we ordered 45 trees and they'll be here in like less than a month. So wait for that video. Anyway, hope you enjoyed today. Like and subscribe, yo!